So excited to talk to both of you. I absolutely love the show. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, so jumping right in with a light one quickly, this show is filled with so many strong, complex, multifaceted characters. Who do you think, which character do you think you would personally be friends with and are the most like in your real lives? Huh. That's a tough one because I, I really think I'd, I'd in some way be connected to every character in some way on this show. Um, in real life, I'm going to have to go with Nico, out Uncle Clifford. Um, it's real life for us. So I'm just going to let art imitate life in, in a real way. So absolutely Uncle Clifford for me. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing in terms of I would be friends with Uncle Clifford too, you know, but <laughs> I would also be friends so much with Mercedes, you know. Um, everybody, I would, I could rock with everybody, to be honest, to a certain degree. But yeah, you know, you got a good pairing right here. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And the show totally shows those dynamics and all of uh, the melding there as well. Um, yeah. Now, going into season two of this show, you were hit. You're one of those shows that got hit with the pandemic halfway through. So you've really had to change course. And you see, I think it so impressively addresses that in the way the business is run. How, what is something that you found yourself doing during this pandemic that you were surprised to see that it's like, oh, you know what? Like, this is an interesting decision I've made to keep my life going forward. Hmm. That is actually a very interesting question for sure. Uh, I don't, Brittany, I don't know about you, but for me, I felt like I didn't, I thought I was like a reflective person prior to. Right. You know, but being inside and, and the quarantining of it all, it really promoted a lot of self-discovery and growth. Um, and to kind of call on that again as an actor during the season was really challenging. And sometimes, like, I had to be even more gentle and, and show myself more, more care because it was still kind of fresh and tender. You know what I'm saying? Some of the, the, the things that we had gone through and those breaking point kind of moments of just utter frustration. I will say absolutely taking time for myself because you didn't have anything but time on your hands for about two years here. Um, so for me, taking that time to really get to know Brandy, um, spending time with family and friends, making calls um, to people I haven't spoken to in a while um, and just connecting with myself and others was a big deal for me during the pandemic. Amazing. Or and without giving anything away, were you, in what ways were you surprised by the shift you saw your character take in light of the pandemic? And do you think it's different than what would have happened uh, or drastically different than what you think would have happened if it hadn't happened? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with Mercedes' storyline, I and without giving anything away, I do feel like where she ends up, in a sense, probably would have still kind of happened. Um, you'll understand more when you see it. Um, so I don't think that the pandemic changed that too much. Um, yeah, she definitely, she definitely would have still been able to have these things that are happening to her. Um, Lord, it's trying to not give things away. You're doing, yeah, you're doing that real good. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so I, I think that that would have changed the storyline for Mercedes much, um, but it did give her a chance to reflect and be able to conquer some things that, that she's dealing with. Yeah, and I think that the, uh, the ingenuity that Uncle Clifford uh, went through to keep the club afloat um, I was, as an actor, I was surprised when I, well, I wasn't surprised. I was inspired by it. Not surprised. I was inspired because there were a lot of small business owners, whether they were the ice creamery, uh, you know, in your neighborhood, you know, the supermarkets, so many stores that I used to love are no longer there anymore. Um, and for this strip club that is based on intimacy and gathering, like, you know, to not be able to do so in the midst of the pandemic, but to still find ways for people to have an income and for the community to be entertained, you yeah. know? Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations on season two. Thank you. Thank you so much.